I'm Cheney Mays for Lion Athletics. I'm here with Coach Men Heads basketball coach Sam Walker. Coach, your team beat Tarleton, had a big win against Tarleton last week. Talk about your team's performance in that game. I'm still enjoying that one right there. That was a, that was a big win for our program. It was a big win for the season and a huge win as far as where we stand with the regional rankings that will come out tomorrow. So, uh, you know, we're making a push to finish as high as we can in the conference, but we're right there in the in the hunt to be able to get into the into the regional tournament. So it was a big win for us. You had uh, Markeith Russell, who was named Defensive Player of the Week. He had five blocks against Tarleton. Talk about what he brought to the defensive end. Well, you know, he and Dorian Armstrong. Now that's that's the fourth time Dorian has gotten it three times, and now for Mar Markeith to get it that uh, that our center has anchored us defensively, and it just changes the game when you have an an inside presence on the defensive end, and and we have such all these little guards that are we run them in and out of there and do such a great job on the defensive end. It's it's. Um, comes with a lot of pleasure to me that we're winning games with defense when that's what we preach in, in practice every day. Coach, you go from facing the number one team in the conference to the number two and the number three teams to the regular season, and it's on the road. The schedule maker definitely didn't make it easy on you with West Texas and UT <laughs> Premium Basin on the docket. Number that. one, the number two, the number three. And this time of year, you got to play those types of teams, and that, that's what we're going to play in the conference tournament. And then, of course, if, if we're fortunate enough to go to the regionals, you're going to play good teams. So it's nice that, you know, it's, it's not that the schedule is against us. It's nice that this time of year, we're going to get to play the teams that that we, we get into a, a a routine of preparing for for the top teams and uh, these two teams are a combined 25 and one at home and uh, so it's going to be a really tough road trip for us but but at the end of the day as we've said all along we just need to be playing good basketball at the end so if we get done with this road trip and and we went whether we win two games or lose two games or split or what have we need to be a good basketball team on Saturday evening we need to get ready to go to Allen and try to to win that tournament there and try to extend our season for as long as we can I've been been very pleased with this group all along they make me proud no matter what they do because they work extremely hard Hard and, and probably more than anything, they work really well together. Your team still has a chance to move up in the standings, like you're talking about. You are tied for third right now with so many competitive teams this year. How will these two matchups really prep your team for the conference, like you were talking about? Well, yeah, same thing. You know, I just, I just think at the end of the year, you want to play the best teams and you don't want to have a situation that you might be overlooking somebody. You want to, you want to know that when we step in, uh, to that rectangle in there, that we're going to be playing a top team. And I think that's healthy for our team when we do that. Thank you, as always, right, Coach. Thank you. Uh, the Lions finish the regular season with two row matchups. They take on West Texas A&M on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. and UT Permian Basin on Saturday at 4 p.m. before prepping for the conference tournament next week. You can follow the Lions on lionathletics.com and listen to live to the games with our friend Charlie Chitwood on 88.9 FM KETR. For Lion Athletics, I'm Cheney Mays.